gone ahead and got rid of the scraggly mess. Look a lot better. Don't know what these moves are, as we're gonna of course move into some very important games today, the most important there can possibly be in an MLS season. And you can see I'm a bit upbeat for it, as welcome back people to episode number 9, I'm pretty sure, yes it is number 9 of um, the DC United career mode here on FIFA 22, of course I've just been doing a bit of research into the club myself recently, and they are bottom of the table in the MLS. Hopefully Wayne Rooney can be better, of course, this season and of course next season to improve. No relegation places, of course, in America, I'm pretty sure. As I don't know why I've started with that bit of a downer note, but yeah, we've gone ahead with it. As if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to smash a big thumbs up on this video. Comment down below. I'm going to be trying to comment, uh, comment. I'm going to try and reply to every single comment as much as I can right now. That is my theme for 23 resolution. And of course, if you haven't seen the previous episode, go ahead, watch that one, so you're all caught up, and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. We're on the hunt for 7.2 at the moment, and as you can see, it says Conference Semi-Finals TBD to be decided, and that is because we finished top of our conference, which is a very nice thing, so we get a nice little break before the next game, the 22nd of, of course, um, what month is it? It's November, 22nd of November, 2022. As you can also see, I touched on it in the last episode, a lot of contracts are expiring at the club this season. So, I do want to get a couple more of these signed up. Maybe even sign some of these up for next season, who of course are uh, running out very soon, and make sure everyone's on a similar wage length. If I can, you can see Christian Benteke... And Phil Jones and Danny Welbeck paid a lot, but Danny Welbeck is one of the players that he's expiring. So, maybe we don't have to worry about him too much next season. I aren't going to rush into the contracts just yet, but we are going to simulate a little bit further on. If someone comes to me, like they have right now, Brad Smith on his wage demands. They want to avoid discontent, do the club. He's uh, submitted the transfer request. Can we offer him a contract? No, we can't. So, Brad Smith does want to leave the club. How much is it? To release him right now. Do not want to change his number. Uh, too many players released already this season. Of course, I've released two at the start. So I'm not going to release him, but I don't see him staying. As we're going to keep on simulating on. As there is players that I do want to sign still. Before we play Chicago Fire. Smith is going to be depart for LAFC. He's going to Los Angeles Football Club. That's an interesting one, you know. The Chicago Fire, of course, in our... Um, our conference, in fact, and it's not going to be an easy game. Is this two-legged or just one? Have we only literally got one leg? I do, yes, do think we do have one leg, so it's a huge one, this one. As you know what, I might try and motivate the boys with a potential sign-in before this game. And our shortlist is huge, as there's two players down here that I'm looking at. We've got James Milner and Fabian Delph. Now, I'm thinking... Although I do love James Milner, Fabian Delth is the better option. Although he is injury prone, we've had troubles with the DM position this season. But James Milner's Mr. Versatile and he is a leader in the team. But then again, his stamina is going to be a problem, of course. He's 62 though. It's not too bad. He's not fast. But he is a decent player. I think I am going to start with Fabian Delph, however. You can approach this player directly, offer a wage between 13 and 18. If that wage works, then that is absolutely a phenomenal sign-in. So we'll try Fabian Delft, bring him over to DC if we can. Except uh, just a crucial role, a two-year contract. A 7 million release clause. If he ever wants to go back to England, that is fine by me. As is that wage going to be correct? We'll offer him the higher-up one that, of course, it said. We'll offer him a hefty signing on bonus of... We'll go with 250. That's very generous. And a goal fee. If he gets 10 goals, which I don't see him getting at all, he can have 400. I think that's reasonable. Fabian Delft, does he see it as reasonable? Insulting. My assistant was wrong. Very wrong. We've lost out on him now, as there is James Milner. 9 and 12. That, that's not going to happen, is it? We're not going to get him for 9 and 12. So we'll try and be more reasonable on Milner. Of course, a Liverpool player. Wayne Rooney playing for Manchester United and Everton. Might not see eye to eye, but being together in the England squad and is a true professional. If we get three years out of him, I'm buzzing as the wage. Could we get him on 30 grand? I'm going to try no bonuses to start off with. 
37. Okay. Okay, that's more reasonable, you know. The appearance fee isn't really what I want, so can we remove that bonus and go with that? Still a high wage, but a decent player. 39. We will accept it. It's our final season. YOLO in it a little bit here with Wayne Rooney, but James Milner joins us with DC next year. And to all you who say I sign meme players all the time, I mean, you are proven right a little bit with that one, but I do think he can be Mr. Versatile. Cover for Matarita, higher rated than Chandler at right back, can go in that midfield when we need him, and that is just what the doctor ordered. So yeah, I don't think it's a bad buy. As uh, we've got Ben Teke now fully fit, and he is on the bench for this game. We are straight into these playoffs. A change on the bench is Smith, who's leaving for Adoy at seam as the team to get us started in this playoffs. Hopefully just started, not ending after 90 minutes. It's Ethan Horvath, Chandler, Jones, Birnbaum, Matarita, Nyman and Williamson with Ariola, Fundas and Roberta with Zardes up front. Also told in the comments, Ariola is an ex-player who, of course, played for um, DC before he actually moved away. So it's very nice to have him back. You can tell by the kits as well. He is in the DC United kit. Very nice to have him at the club. Let's see what he can do on his return and see if we can do well in these playoffs. Last season's playoff game, simply not good enough as today. Salonia in goal. Espinosa, Pineda, Chiscos, Reynolds the second, Navarro, Jimenez, uh, Jimenez, Muller, Shakiri's back in, Gutierrez, and Ivanov, the number 99. Last season, the Columbus Crew game was not good enough. This season, potentially different. As Matarita into Birnbaum, and I want that potential to come true, of course, into Williamson. Let's bring James Milner, boring old James Milner, no offence to him, of course, into a really good title winning side. As Matarita with a good chest down right there, around the corner into Roberta. Zardes, can't return. Still will keep on going as Moses Nyman in the lineup, of course, starting this very vital game, trusted with... Of course, um, starting as Phil Jones running down this wing into Chandler. What can Timmy do right here? He'll charge through the centre. Straight into Taxi Fundas. Around the corner. Nyman looking for a ball. Finds a good one to Zardes. And Salonia with a good save. Goes into the book. Is it a penalty? I don't think it is. That will probably be the tackle on Nyman. And I think it was. As well whip this in. Ariola to cross. Stepping off his Chandler. Diving in. Was Burnbaum, I think. As no, it wasn't. He's here with the ball. As he tries a shot, Williamson nips in there very well. Let's keep early pressure on, please. As Taxi with a run through, offside. Unlucky. As Ariola here has to pass it backwards into Timmy Chandler. Now into Phil Jones. He'll just visit across straight into the path of Matarita to go forward slowly. He cuts inside into Moses Nyman. Now around the corner again. Zardes holding it up. He waits. He goes for a volley. He's trying his luck again. Unlucky. As Shakiri through the middle. Williamson to just. Straight away, catch up on that one as Moses Nyman. Little acceleration. Uh, I can't even speak. Acceleration of pace as Zardes gives it into Roberta. Now back into Williamson. Williamson looking for that angle. He's going to squeeze this out wide into Nigel Roberta. Dodgy touch. Manages to keep hold of it. We are really pushing Chicago Fire back. But then again, looks like they are very defensive here. They know uh, how. Uh, Free scoring we were at one point in this season as it's a ball down the line. Ariola, it's a flash across the box. And Taxi can't get it under control. Unlucky from us right there as they've got a free kick. And a yellow card for Timmy Chandler. Never a yellow in my book, but he's gone into it. As Zardes gets the header down right there. Needs to just keep hold of this. That's a clinical foul. But I do see Ariola on the run. And Williamson's found him. It's a brilliant ball over to Ariola on his return. Two, of course, DC almost got the chance. He was trying to peel off right there as well as Birnbaum into Williamson. He keeps control of the ball rather well. Moses Nyman squeezes that one out wide straight into Roberta. As Zardes is injured, Christian Benteke may have to be called upon already. Of course, I don't think did score for his in-game whilst he was um, uninjured without the ACL rupture, but... He'll have to come on rather early in this one. I cannot believe it. Zardes injured. He's been the main player this season, apart from Taxi. Benteke to come on. Uh, Marquee signing's been trusted. So let's see what he can do. Hit the Aston Villa form, uh, form please, Benteke. Please do. As Horvath with the ball at his feet. That's not the greatest ball out, you know. And it's onto Ivanov, who tried to switch one around. Horvath, you've got to be a bit more careful, mate. 
Now, you're not experienced in these playoffs as much as Hamid was, but you're getting the nod ahead of him. You are the permanent keeper as Benteke. Straight on it with a pass out wide. Don't want him getting injured, of course. His sharpness not fully up. We need a good performance as Gutierrez on a run right here. He's through that middle, trying to just backpedal to get back and defend him. As it's a good tackle in the end. Williamson to just hook this away straight onto Roberta. And Roberta to give it wide into Matarita. I can see the run in front of us. Here it is. It's Roberta. Can we get one just before half time? Benteke, the number 30. Touch goes for a strike off the head of Pineda. And out to Ariola, who is off. We just need to be able to stay on side as we almost won the header against Sedan Shakiri. We shouldn't be losing out on headers to him. As Jimenez almost caught out, but there's the whistle. Nil, nil in the playoffs first 45 minutes. And Navarro into Jimenez, who's trying to put a ball over the top right there. Timmy Chandler manages to get that header away. Christian Benteke cutting away. Straight into Taxi Fundas, who tries to go around his man and does get around him. Into Nigel Roberta. Roberta trying to keep hold of it, and Jimenez comes across to make that tackle. So we've got to be careful. It looks like they're coming out of the ranks a little bit in this second half. Just got to weather the little bit of possession that they just had. Only lasted nine in-game minutes, but Nyman's gave it away in a bad position. Zedan Shakiri to run at us. Phil Jones has let him round him, probably taking a card after that one. But still, they do have the ball. Gutierrez is out wide. Now into Reynolds, the second. As we need to just try and shepherd him away. Gutierrez has it again. Looking down the wing. Into Shakiri. That's a good ball around the corner. And it's 1-0 Chicago. It's Muller at the back post on the yellow card. And we are 1-0 down to our counterpart team in the conference. Oh, dearie me. This is not a good sign. This is not what we want at all. And that was too easy. We dominated that first half. And we've let them come out the block straight away and put us 1-0 down. Muller with the easy tapping. And we don't have Zardes. We don't have Ravel Morrison. This is going to be a fight right now. We've got 30 minutes. I'm trying not to get worried. I'm trying not to get angry. But I am actually fuming that we've conceded that one. I really didn't want that at all. As Williamson into Chandler. Who's going to cut inside a little bit. Back into Christian Benteke. Now Taxi Funtas. Who looks for that chip over the top. Can't find it. But keep the pressure on. That was unlucky right there. As Espinosa with the throwing backwards into Pineda. Pineda's going to pull it across the defence. Into Herbers. Now Herbers tries to put the ball across. Just bounces off Jimenez. Handball in our area. There's now Williamson to run forward a little bit with it. Give that out wide. There we go. Roberta. Timmy Chandler making inward roads, but can't give it back. But surely a foul. Seems like Timmy Chandler's actually badly injured from that as a Spinoza. We're going to try and put that over the top. Can we try and read that? Birnbaum does into Moses Nyman. And don't end play there. We were getting a bit of a move going there. Roberta. Uh, Chandler, of course, down. As we've took Roberta off for Pierre Bell. We've um, took Chandler off for Adoy at Sem. I know he hasn't played much, but... Not really focused on the defence at the moment. Focused on the attack as Williamson through the middle. Onto Moses Nyman. Across now into Christian Benteke. That's a bad tackle. That's a very bad tackle. He's gone into the book for a red card. Gaston Jimenez. I don't care about the replay. I mean, I would have liked to see it. Because, of course, that's a man getting sent off. But we've got to focus on ourselves. Matarita with the ball in. Ariola trying to arrive. Pierre Bell. It's come off the man. It's handled in the area. It's a penalty kick to us. A moment of pure madness from them. They've got a man sent off. And we have the chance from the spot to make it one apiece. And we need to take this one. We really, really do. Who's on it? It is Taxi Funtas. I'm going to go for that top bin. I know he always scores bottom left. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. Taxi versus the keeper. And he scores. That's the leveller in the playoffs. And that is just what we needed. Our first playoff goal, I'm pretty sure. We might have got one late on against Columbus. I can't remember. I don't care about last year. 1-1 in the playoff semis. That's just what we needed as Pierre Bell into Moses Nyman. Turns away into Taxi Fundas. Adiola down the line. Can we turn this around? It's got past Reynolds Jr. Or Reynolds the second, should I say. So Adiola tries to put the cross in. Definitely hit his arm. But nothing given. Adoyat seam into Benteke. Williamson's got a gap. Tries to go through it. Moses Nyman. Not long left in this one. Matari to swing a ball in. Benteke's got to be closer. Herbers with the header away. Of course, we get the penalty away. We should be on top now. They have 10 men. But then again, 
They'll push further, push harder with 10 men in the semi-finals as Williamson should be fitter than them as well. Of course, they've not uh, played straight in the semis. They've had the quarter-final as Taxi Fundas. Salonia with the save. We are pushing them back. Muller down this line in the centre to Navarro. Playoff games. They're just so nervy, aren't they? As Herbers into Pineda. It means a lot to either side right now. At the very end of the game, Reynolds. No one can really slip up, but that's a terrible pass. And it's straight on to Christian Benteke, who, to be fair, doesn't have the pace. Taxi Fundas does a little bit. Can't cut back himself. Just going to put that straight over the top, Phil Jones. As if we can get there with Ariola, which we can't. We might have had more time, but that is going to be the whistle. Is it extra time or penalties? I'm guessing extra time. I'm guessing extra time, which I'm very nervous for. We finished top of the league. Top of it. We want to keep on going, of course, as Moses Nyman into Taxi Fundas. Now Christian Benteke. He gives it out wide into Pierre Bell, into Moses Nyman, as Taxi's going to flick that straight on to Williamson. Benteke out wide here into the gap. Ariola to swing one in. Back post, Pierre Bell. A bit too much on it, but we've got to start brightly like we have done here. Come on, stay on this front foot as Adoyat seem has some defending to do right here. Just shepherds his man back. Christian Benteke get running as that's a sloppy one. Taxi can't, get, uh, can't take it under control, however, as Espinosa puts that out of play. Herbers with the ball here, straight on to Torres. Williamson trying to come across and make a block. He does so. Adoyat seem towards Taxi, who couldn't really get that controlled away correctly as it's almost the end of the first half no clear-cut chances which makes me dread penalties but that's a brilliant ball Herbers headed down bam bam get that away from our area please tax it with the control and we do get it away but the final or the half time whistle in extra time has gone so let's see what this second half has in store for us Pierre Bell to get the ball straight away and a pass straight up into Christian Benteke on a swivel he's going to keep this ball and he's going to give it out wide into Odoi at seam. Taxi Funtas. Taxi Funtas out wide into Ariola. Ariola to get running a little bit here. That's surely another handball. Penalty spot pointed to Reynolds, the second with a mistake here. Before it could potentially go to penalties. We have the chance from the spot again in the playoffs. That's a definite one. Ariola tried to put it in the box. Taxi Funtas against Solonia. We're going to go for the bottom left this time. And the keeper has saved it. The keeper has saved it. All right. Corner ball. We're not going to let that get us down. We're going to whip it in towards Phil Jones, who powers it over. What a chance that is that we've just missed, of course. By the way, as Benteke through the middle onto Taxi Funtas. That is out wide into Pierre Bell, who's going to put an in-swinger towards... Ariola coming centrally as Adoyat seam wins his header very well. Still try and keep it. Unfortunately, that pass wasn't the greatest, however. It's into Herbers, who switches that across into Muller. Going backwards, Pineda. Come on. Two minutes left in this one. Navarro into Herbers. Charging forward. Tried to put it round. That's a dive. That's an obvious dive. Benteke, out wide, two additional minutes, here's Ariola, trying to go round his man, whip a ball in, handball, handball, can we try and do something right here from this one, who can we control, Phil Jones is going closer, Christian Benteke is in the area, we're just going to have to dip this in, come on big Christian, get your head on that, away from Ivanov, falls to Phil Jones on the edge, Williamson, can't get his pass off. Chiz Costa to come away with it. And we're out of the playoffs straight away again. Pierre Bell is in agony. Our whole team is that to come first in the season and have that happen to us is absolutely shocking. 
the worst game of career mode so far. And I do not want to mention what our goalkeeper was doing. Chris Muller deservedly so moves the 10 men, the tired 10 men who have played a game before this of Chicago Fire into the final. As Wayne Rooney's men, our men, are chucked out in disgrace. I'm sorry guys, but manager rating's gone down, deservedly so. I expect more from you, Christian Benteke. Zada's after two, uh, four weeks and two months, Timmy Chandler, with the metatarsal. We've got contracts to do, of course. Or do we? Because I think all of these players don't deserve to be here. I think we need another shuffle up. Maybe one, a Doyat seam for the rotational purposes. Actually just sign him up so we have him at the club. 2.1 as a wage. Reasonable. Okay, so we've got one back up. Yes, these players are at the moment surplus to requirements. So all of them will be let go. We'll get some new youngsters in. <sighs> I just cannot believe that happened in the 120th minute. We finished top of the conference and that happened. I honestly do not know where to start. Well, I mean, I know where I've got to go. I've got to go to a season roundup. Which I'm going to really try and be positive, but I don't know how after I am. After, of course, what happened in that last one. As Hamid, of course, is leaving us. Dodgy time here, really, to be fair. Uh, Kempin, back up, who's going to be leaving us. We need another backup next season. This guy. Uh, Brad Smith, of course, leaving us. Got a pre-contract to LAFC. Matarita, praise where praise is due. He's been good. Green and Guadiri will hopefully both be leaving. They are surplus to requirements. Phil Jones promising our centre-back, who's going to stay alongside our captain, hopefully, Birnbaum. Both ageing, but both good, as Anderson's coming through the ranks anyway. Heinz EK is a decent backup to have. Curtis Davis leaving. Odoyat seems the versatility man. Uh, Williamson, good season. Improved. Very nice. Do like him. Nyman. A good bench player to have, but just needs to be a little bit sharper, I would say. As it's replaced Matthias Vera, who's been out all season. I've just hated not having him. As Taxi Foon has 16 goals, 2 assists. Brilliant player. Jafal out on loan with a loan to buy. We've got Jack Bennett, who will hopefully be returning. And this man, Nicholas Trembe. I think the only bright spark to come out of what's just happened is Hopkins will... Be going to Oxford, of course. Ravel Morrison, injury prone, but good to have around the squad. Uh, Pierre Bell, hopefully a big season next season for him. Uh, Coup Di Pietro is going to be plus to requirements. Chandler, maybe replace him, because of course we've got an ageing squad. Coleman hopefully can break in. Adiola was good when he joined. Seven goals, seven assists in that time is really, really good. Of course, I think it will be with Dallas as well, of course. As Perez... Leaving us, Benteke needs a full season because he needs to show that he's actually worth being here, to be fair. Not to sound horrific. Smith, okay. Danny Welbeck, a good player, but I have fallen out of love with him. Seven goals, one assist is not bad in the games that he's played, but he's just fallen out of my plans. Roberto's had an injury riddled season, but he's still in my plans. And Zardes, 31 year old, 11 goals, four assists, being very, very good. But again, Sorry to be boring, guys, but the player of the season the same as last year. Takarayakis Fundas, the best player in this save by far. Hitting his prime at 27-year-old, 78-rated. The Greek is on fleek. I know how cringy that sound, and I know this is only really going to be a short episode. We do have one pre-contract already done. I do want to get more players through the door, of course, next season. We're going to have to do a lot of signings next year, I do think. We've got 30 million for it. And I expect it to happen. I really, really do expect it to happen. As progress assessments. And we regret to inform you that the board has decided to relieve you of your duties with immediate effect. We have been sacked as DC United boss. For that playoff game. We have been sacked. The only job that we can get is Sporting KC. This leaves me with a bit of a dilemma. I'm going to take the job. I am going to try and run for the playoffs. But what do we honestly do here, guys? I'm I'm stuck. Wayne Rooney at Sporting KC. After being sacked with DC United, after finishing top of the conference is a bit harsh, if you ask me. 
Very harsh. I've just done my roundup as well. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? I'm not really recording the episode. I feel like that is cheating. And I've never wanted to do that with the save. Just good that they've decided to sack me, really. Another chance for Rooney. Do we get this other chance, though? Do we truly get it? Hmm. I honestly don't know where to go from this, guys. Do we pack it up here? Do we want to do another mini save? What do we want to do? We've got 32 days before FIFA 23 comes out. We can get something done in them 32 days. But of course, it's all down to you guys at the moment. So, a very eventful episode. I am literally speechless. I'm going to leave it down to you guys to decide. Let's thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you have enjoyed the confusion slightly with this episode. Of course, always welcome to any single comments and of course very thankful to all the subscribers that have joined the channel. And like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell. I am literally speechless to how that episode has just ended. What do we do? Do we try Wayne Rooney at Man United? Do we try him with Derby County? Do we just go back to DC? Do we go on to different FIFA content? I, you, you'll honestly like to have to let me know. You really have to let me know. As thank you very much for watching. Take care in a bit. Very surprised and speechless. But peace.